Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to be working with branches. So we're just going to be doing it in the local repository, but we're going to be working with branches, creating them, removing them. And in the next video, we're going to be merging them together. All right. So you can see here that I created this fake new website. Just pretend that I created a website and there's some error in it. So just like before, what I'm going to do is create a new branch, try and fix the error and then merge the branches together, then finally delete the branch. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and create a new branch. But how are we going to do this? Well, it's actually quite simple. Right here up at the top, it says branch. So what you're going to do is just click on it. And it says here new branch. And I'm just going to say ERR01, just like we did in the terminal. Now it says commit working copy parent and then specified commit. So what we're going to tick is working copy parent, which is pretty much just the latest commit. So after that, we're just going to say check out new branch. So it's pretty much the same as doing git checkout dash B uh, with the B flag. So all of that. And once you've ticked all of it, just like this, we're going to go ahead and click create branch. Now, if you want to create it off a specified commit, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but in my opinion, I feel that it's better to just go off of the uh, working copy parent, which is the latest commit. So I'm going to go ahead and create the branch. And there we go. We created a brand new branch. So right now we are on ERR01. So you can see here, uh, we're currently on this branch. We can always switch back to um, the master by right clicking and checking it out. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and go ahead and uh, remove the error. So I'm going to go open up my fake website. This error here, I'm just going to move it. Now, of course, in a real production website, you would go find the error, remove it. You do a bunch of steps, but this is just for practice because some people, you know, they don't really know all the languages and I want to try and get it so that everyone knows what's going on. So I'm just going to remove that fake error. There we go. Let's go ahead and check out our working copy. Unstaged files, fake website.txt. We're going to stage it and now we're going to commit it. So we're going to say fixed website error. Just like that. We're going to go ahead and commit that on the error 01 branch. So now we're going to go ahead and view it. And you can see right there that it says ERR01 fixed website error. So there we go. You can see that it's now working. So that's pretty much it for creating branches and working with them. But now what I want to do is go and uh, try and create a new branch and then delete it. So I'm going to go back to the master branch here. I'm going to create a brand new branch. I'm just going to call it dev or practice or test or whatever we want. It's just, we're going to delete it later on anyways. It's, you know, same thing. We're going to use all the same settings. There we go. We have a new branch and we are currently checked out on it. So right now they're in the same position, which is why it has this dot here with test and error 01. So what we're going to, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and make sure that we're checked out on our test branch right there. There you go. And we're going to go and try and delete it. So right now they're on the same branch and everything's working. So first thing I want to do is go and check out the master branch because we want to, you know, we can't delete a branch while we're on it. So we're going to go and check out the master branch. Now, of course, you can check out the error branch, but I prefer to be checked out on the master whenever I'm, you know, messing around with other branches. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and click on this branch icon. Now this is where it gets a little confusing and you're going to go to delete branches. Now I'm just going to tick my test branch and it says forced to delete regardless of merge status. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tick that as well, because if you remember, uh, there was a lot of issues about, you know, this branch hasn't been fully merged uh, because it hasn't. And we were doing that in the terminal and we used a uppercase D to force delete it. So we're going to go ahead and keep that ticked. Now we're going to go ahead and delete the branch. And there we go. The branch is gone just like that. So you can see how easy it is to work with branches in source tree. It becomes a lot easier because you can visualize it in these, in this node tree structure right here. So next video, we're going to start merging the branches so that we can actually, you know, bring it all together in terms of branches. Uh, so that we can start seeing what's going on. And by that point, I think everything will be a little clearer, especially with most of the Git icons, most of the commands that you can use in source tree. All right, let's move on.